welcome to everyone uh, next we move on to the the last edition reaction of the chapter adenine ketones and carboxylic acid dear friends uh, in addition reaction we already learned is uh, hydrocyanic acid to form cyanohydrin and addition of sodium bisulfite to form the corresponding aldehyde or either a ketone bisulfite salts and today we have very important reaction addition reaction with alcohol because the formation of two interesting product is hemiacetal and another one is acetal so how the formation of these acetal and hemiacetal by using the corresponding either aldehyde or either a ketone very simple this is your aldehyde as my convenience i have to write this alcohol as a r dash yes this is your alcohol you don't bother about r dash just my convenience r and r this is aldehyde and this is your alcohol and aldehyde and alcohol is undergoes addition reaction a simple story the cleavage of this pi bond yes now the reaction is r c this is h as it is the pi bond will be cleavage this is the pi bond will be cleavage the formation of the product is oh and now the remaining o r dash the component is known as hemi acetal the compound is hemi acetal or either you have to know the answer is alkoxy alkenol i repeat alkoxy alkenol will be formed this is hemi acetal means hemi means half of the portion is undergoes your addition and then further once again this reaction yes this is your r c o h and this is your h and this is your o r h hemi acetal once again react with the same alcohol this is your alcohol same alcohol yes to formation of the product with the loss of a water this is a loss of a water this oh is combined with h this oh is combined with this h this is your loss of water what it remains sir r as it is c already it is a o r dash this h as a retain this is your h and this position this is a o r this is once again o r name of this compound is known as acetal what about the name of the acetal the acetals are nothing but dialkoxy dial this is an alkoxy dialkoxy not alcohol this is an a the name of this compound dialkoxy alkene will be known as very important reaction friends aldehydes react with alcohol to form a hemiacetal means either alkoxy alkenol for the it react with the same alcohol to form acetal as consider an example i have started an example very simplest is a ch3 c double bond to h name of this compound acetaldehyde acetaldehyde is react with methyl alcohol or methanol methyl alcohol or either methanol reacts together this is a cleavage of bond keep in your mind this is a ch3 and the c h as it is this o is combined with the h this is oh and what it remains och this is oc yes this is even hemi hemi acetal Can you do the name? This is called methoxy. Methoxy, the two carbon with OH is a ketone. Methoxy ketone is a name. And then continue the reaction. Once again with the same methyl CH3. This is the second step. Yes, it's a loss of the water. This OH and this H. Once it removed, this is the CH3. And this is a C as it is H, and this is O C H E as it is, and this methoxy group is also a C O C H. 
the name of this compound is acetone and you give the name two methoxy groups two means dimethoxy dimethoxy the two carbon is a yes the two carbon is the name of this compound dimethoxy Yes, wonderful addition reaction. I repeat, addition reaction of alcohols to the either aldehyde or either a ketone to form aldehyde to form an acetals and a ketone to form the corresponding compounds are ketones. Acetal and ketone. Yes, we can see example the stardehyde is react with methanol to form methoxy ethanol and dimethoxy ethene. Can you practice this? A stardehyde react with ethanol. Yes, now the compound is ethoxy ethanol, dihydroxy ethene. Let's keep practicing with the different alcohols as mentioned our syllabus. As similarly, if you want, if you want to know the reaction, you can practice with ketone also. Just you have to change. This is your R O R dash. But keep yourself here. It is an dihydric alcohol. You consider an a dihydric alcohol. The easy to undergo to the Ketone. There is no any ketones directly they come to the ketones will be come out by using corresponding ketones. This is your hemi and ester. You have to practice with different examples. Yes, then we have a second story of this chapter is ketone. If you want to know what happens when ketones undergo reaction with your addition reaction. We have a very simple story behind the chapter. Is a ketone. This is you have to consider as a ketone. This is your ketone. Better directly have to consider example is a ester also. If I have to take, take, take the alcohol, this is your alcohol, dihydric alcohol, ethylene glycol. The formation of the product by using ethylene glycol, it also undergoes the simple addition reaction, but the release of the water. Yes, once the cleavage of this pi bond, there is the release of the water. Yes, this O is combined with this two hydrogens. I mentioned carefully as this oxygen is combined with these two hydrogens with the loss of. So dear friends, what it remains? What it remains is this R C. This is your R as it is. Okay, and this double bond is easy to attach to with these two components. This is O C H two, and this is your O. This is as usual. This is your C H two. Name of this compound is known as ketone. Directly come to the ketone. Ketone undergoes reaction with ethylene glycol. The formation of the product is where ketol or ketol between glycol will be formed. This is also an addition reaction, as mentioned in your NCERT. Keep practicing aldehyde is very important for this addition reaction. Keep in your mind, friends. We have come across already three HCl, NHSO3, and alcohol. These three are the important addition reactions of our syllabus. Thank you. We continue the next. Very interesting naming reactions of this chapter: either Clemenson's reduction reaction, Wolf-Kishner reaction, and Canizzaro's reaction, and the Adar condensation. Thank you.